Librarian will not be seen at this time in order that we may hero worship the following program. <laughs> oh, no, it's Conan Librarian. <laughs> Today's show is brought to you by the letter Z, <laughs> the letter S, and the number 261256. Do you sure have a lot of medals there, you know? Uh, are those two for bravery? Bravery? No, no, Kubitschewski. I took this bronze at the Munich Olympics. And I took the silver from the Holiday Inn. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to another episode of You Can't Do That on Television. Today's show is about heroes. You know, people we all look up to and Moose. admire. Moose, this is amazing. What's that, Rob? Well, I didn't know that you wrote the music for this program. Oh, yeah. Well, Gee, there's nothing. It's incredible. But did you know that Beethoven, in one of his symphonies, yeah, da -da -da, he used some of the exact same ideas. Really, Ross? Yeah. Wow, that's great. Of course, he was deaf at the time. Hey, class, class. Please, I would ask you to look at this bust of Beethoven and tell me, what is he famous for? Oh, sure, I know. Yes, Kevin. He was a famous composer who had no arms and no legs. <laughs> hey, I thought I was supposed to get some bubble gum. What gives? Hey, wait a minute, Dougie. That looks like a magical ring. Magical ring? Well, yeah, you know, like the one Hercules uses. How does it work? Okay, you put it on your finger, hold your hand up to the sky, and wham! Really? Well, yeah. Go ahead and try it. Do I look like a Boy Scout? I've never been so insulted in all my life. I'm sorry, you're, you're a mountain. A mountain, hey, I should have known. Oh, oh, no, baby, stop. Oh, 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 oh. Vegetables again? Ugh. Young man, you eat up all those vegetables so that you can grow up to be big and green just like your father. <laughs> Seems to be the problem here. Isn't it just a little bit obvious? 
I, yeah, you don't know how to tie a reef knot. Ooh, let me show you how. Well, thank you very much. It's nice to know that the Mounties are there when you need them. Oh. Okay, now see, it's left over, over right, right and, and under, oh. and okay. then right... Wait a minute, you're too fast for me. Okay. Right over left... And under. And under. And then left over right. No, no. And under. I believe it's left under, right over. Isn't that right? No. It's right over left, oh. and oh. then you go through the hole and that's it. I think she's gone. <laughs> so, uh, how, how was your day at school today? <laughs> oh, no, no. I mean, like uh, physics, chemistry, uh, history, uh, great people. What kind of garbage do they fill you with in that school anyway? Get me a cigar. Move it! Come on! We have finally penetrated your disguise. Disguise? That's right. No sense to fool us anymore. We know you're James Bond. James Bond? That's right. It took a little while, but now we know you are James Bond, secret agent 007. Don't be stupid. I'm not James Bond. You're not? No, I'm Kevin Kubitschowski. You know, your prisoner. Oh. Oh, well, uh, that's too bad. You see... I got an order here for the release of James Bond. But since you're not in, <laughs> too bad. See you now. <laughs> Wait a minute. I am. I'm James Bond. Agent 007. You know, it's me. Uh. uh, Lisa? Yes, sir? The art exam is almost over and you haven't painted a thing. Sir. Finished? Yes, sir. Well, what is it? It's a cow eating grass, sir. Wait a minute. Where, where's the grass? The cow has eaten it all, sir. And where is the cow? Sir, why would you expect the cow to hang around after he's eaten all the grass? It's on the green pasture. Oh. Lisa Rudd. May I? Oh, go ahead. Thank you. Cherish it. <laughs> so, you claim to be an invincible superhero, right? Right. Well, I kind of wonder about that, because every superhero has something that they're vulnerable to. Like what? Well, Superman can be affected by kryptonite, and the Green Lantern has no effect on anything yellow. I'm allergic to strawberries, so there must be something that you're vulnerable to. I bet I know what it is. What? Okay, I'll, I'll give you some clues. It's bigger than a bread box, and it's not yellow, and the less you know, the easier it gets you. <laughs> I don't know. I guess you're not invincible after all. Okay, fine, but how to make one of those slip knots? Well, I believe. I know. Oh. You have this for me? Yes, of course. Sure. You take it and you make a knot like this. Yes. Oh, then you take it. Does it like that? Does it like that? Under. Then. Then you pull. Ta-da! Oh, what are these? My newest invention. I call them Wonder Dogs. Oh, these are cute. These are the most adorable things I've ever seen. Aren't they cute, Kevin? Oh, so cute. <laughs> yeah, real cute. And tasty, too. Oh, Kevin, you sicko. You killed it. Why can you mine home? <gasps> She took a dead one. <laughs> ah, so, you thought you could sneak in here silently 
Lawless Wonder. Lawless Wonder? Mm-hmm. I was at my dance class, and I forgot my house keys. I live here. Oh. Wait a second. What are you doing in here? That's breaking and entering, you know. I'm going to call the police. Oh, no, please. Please, not the police. Don't phone the police. You know what they do to guys wearing tights? Like I said, I'm phoning the police. Doc, I came as soon as I heard the news. Is it true? Yes, it's true. You're the proud father of a baby boy. Well, how do you know I'm the father? Ah, because he's got your eyes. Dad, Dad. Say, Kurt, he knows how. That's good. Christine, you know that all this attract each other, right? What do you mean? Well, like positive and negative magnets attract each other? Yeah. And fun-loving people attract dull people? Yeah, I guess. Well, you must attract a lot of the skinny boyfriends. <laughs> Lisa. Well, yeah, Lucy. I know some things about opposites, too. Ooh. Like these opposite sketches that are coming right up. Oh, great. Okay. And I also know about attraction. Oh. Yeah, like my feet being attracted directly to your shins. <laughs> Class. Class! Will you please pay attention? Does anyone here have any idea why in te Einstein was regarded as such a great scientist? Kevin? Oh, uh, I don't know. Christine? I don't know. Lisa? Oh, yes, sir, I know. <laughs> wait a second, wait, wait, wait. What's all it's supposed to happen when people say, I don't know? Ah, uh, but Lisa, you forget, this is an opposite skip. Empty bottles. Who was supposed to collect empty bottles? <laughs> We've been emptying them. What do you think of it? <laughs> Dad, Do I cut the lawn now? No, absolutely not. Listen, you listen to the ball game and drink your soda pop. I'll cut to the grass. Problem, please? Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going to have to change my apron. Why? Because I spilled some ketchup on it. Where? I can't see it. Ah, but I must change my apron anyway. A clean chef is a good chef. Now, excuse me while I wash my hands. <laughs> We're going to be rich, Christine. This invention of mine will revolutionize the whole wallpaper industry. Really? Yeah, glow in the dark wallpaper. That'll <laughs> save a million light bulbs. You like it? I love it. Oh, sure. Go ahead and laugh. Laugh at me. I know you will. No, I love it. I love it. They laughed at Einstein. Kevin, I love it. And they laughed at the Wright brothers. It's the absolute greatest thing I've ever seen, Kevin. Glow in the dark wallpaper. Sure. Fantastic. Yeah, and they laughed at Edison. It's wonderful, Kevin. And and they laughed at Bell. But why won't anyone laugh at me? Oh, Christine, please laugh at me. Tell me it's a stupid idea. Please. Oh, come on, Dougie dear. You'll never get to be the star of a TV commercial if you don't learn to eat horrible and revolting things and smile while you do it. Mom. No buts, Dougie. You want to be the star of a TV commercial, don't you? Yes, but... All right, now, no buts. Lights, action, camera. Oh, that's beautiful, Dougie. That's beautiful. Oh, that's wonderful, Dougie. Mom. Yes, I think no, Doug hasn't got a hope in... You know he hasn't got a chance of ever being a star in a TV commercial. Well, I know that, dear, and, and you know that, but he doesn't. And it's the only way I can think of to get him to eat all that spinach. <laughs> That's beautiful, Dougie. That's gorgeous. Keep eating. It's great acting, dear. Oh. Kubitschewski, how would you like to have a bath? Boy, I'd love to have a bath. I haven't had one in years. I know, I know. So just hold on. I'll go and boil some oil for your bath. Okay. 
Oh, help! Somebody save me! Help! Ta-da! Oh, no, no, Wonder Woman! Oh, you bet! You know, oh, I wonder yeah. why people oh. would tie other people to the railroad tracks. Like, I mean, that is really dumb. Yeah, you know, I wonder oh. if that's a train I hear coming in the distance. Oh, Do you know what? Come on, oh, no. bring on the train. Oh, no. I don't care. Do the train. <laughs> Cheese. No, Charlie. You are going to try my latest invention. What is it? I call it a hero sandwich. A hero sandwich? What's that? You've got to be a hero to eat it. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> wondered what it is that makes someone a hero. Oh, yeah, Christine, it... like, I wondered a lot about that. <laughs> oh, no. Like, I wonder what makes a hero big and strong. And I wonder who is a hero. And I wonder what heroes eat. Just, I wonder what kind of television they watch. And I wonder if their favorite show is You Can't Do That on Television. Do you know what else I wonder? What? I wonder what other kids think about heroes. Well, my idol is Miss Piggy. Mm, well, I like Smurfette and, um... And probably Zara. I like Wonder Woman because I think she's pretty. Well, really my cousin. Well, because he practically saved my life once. They're strong and they can, um, like, nobody ever messes with them. Do you have any heroes? Well, Alan Alda and George Brett because he's my favorite baseball player. I don't have any heroes. I like Flash Gordon because he's fast. Well, I like Garfield. I would like to be like Wonder Woman. Well, I like to be like a perfect human being. Like I like to be good at most things, and I just like like for people just you know to look up to me, and for just well, it's hard to explain. Any people you look up to? My sister, cause she's tall. I would try and help people that were in trouble, but I don't know what I would want my costume to be like. Um, well, I'd have rainbow-colored wings. If I could think of a hero, it'd probably be a regular person because I think that just plain people are important and special. You know, there's been a lot of talk around here today about heroes, but what I want to know is what is a hero? I mean, is it someone who's really brave and strong or someone who's smart and pretty or someone like me who's got it all? Who's... I know what a hero is. Oh, yeah? Okay, what's a hero? It's someone you look up to. And I guess for you, everyone over three feet tall must be a hero. Everyone. <laughs> 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 it's loud, obnoxious noise, really necessary. Come on! Oh, oh, but does it have to be that loud? <laughs> Oh, oh. Uh, Mr. I'll, uh, I'll put it down. There. Thank you. Any request? Harvest Moon. Oh, God. Oh, Stop it. 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 it. is the middle of the summer. Well, some people do their Christmas shopping it. Stop it. Stop <laughs> Would you get I hope you don't expect me to fall for that, because it will not work. Aw, oh, come on, Moose. I mean, people don't ski in the summer. Yeah, but that's water skiing. <laughs> you know, those guys are getting very subtle about this water bit. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Well, I won't have to water the plants for another month or so. Look! Up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Double Whammo Big Barthy Cheeseburger! You know, Kevin, I was just thinking, one of my heroes would have to be Florence Nightingale, the famous nurse. Florence Nightingale? Why? Because she saved so many lives. 
Jubilee Heroes? Yeah, Howard Hughes. Howard Hughes, the multi-billionaire. Why? Because he saves so many dollars. They're on my leg. They're mine. <laughs> Ready? Aim. Fire! <laughs> hey, where did the bullet go? I can't hear my teeth. These things are horrible. I was it one day. It's kind of handy. <laughs> But just one thing, though. Could we have the bullet back? It's the only one we have. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> oh, oh, look what you did. You bit the bullet into two pieces. Now what are we going to do? Well, I guess since you can't sue me, you'll have to let me go. I guess so. Okay. See you around. Run your own. Adios. <laughs> That's one mouthy kid. <laughs> You know, we all have heroes, but I've always thought that the greatest hero that ever was had to be Joan of Arc. Bruce, all you've talked about today was your heroes. How about giving someone else a turn? Oh, well, sure, Doug. I'm sorry. What did you want to do? Imitations of my favorite heroes. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. My first one is... Napoleon. <laughs> the famous painter to lose the trek. <laughs> <laughs> and then, my best imitation of a basketball star, Jean Adel Chabot. That's just a few. Got lots more. Watch for me. Yeah, I'll have to watch for you. The magnifying glass. Class, class, will you please pay attention? Can anyone tell me what this stands for? Oh, sir, I know. That's the mark of zero. No, it's the mark of zero. And that is what you're going to get. Hey, Bertie, who were your heroes when you were a kid? Heroes? I'll tell you who my hero was and is to this day. Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Ronald McDonald? Mm -hmm. Why? Because they're both clowns. I could. You know, it's true. You know why? Because I could never figure out how Ronald got the fur and the bones out of his burger. Well, that just about wraps up our look at heroes. I wonder if Moose is talking because the show's almost over. And I wonder if they're going to roll the closing credits so I can see my name go by. And I wonder if my mom watch TV today. And I wonder why we haven't got good old Moosey Grant yet. Get me wet. <laughs> I wonder why I haven't had you fired yet. <laughs> On television has been a mighty high o silver faster than a speeding bullet able to leap tall buildings in a single bound to the bat hole production. You know, I always wondered why they call me Wonder Woman. You know, I wonder if that train's gonna hit me. I really wonder if I'm gonna be on the next show. Hey, I won't be able to finish the series. I wonder if I say it. Hmm.